this video, I want to talk a little bit about the tachometers and the problems associated with them in those turbo diesel models from about 1978 to 1984. You know, that's the classic 300 SD, 300 D turbo, 300 TD wagon turbo, and the 300 CD coupe with the turbo engine in it. Uh, most of these cars, the tachometer doesn't work. And if you go out and get one, I can almost guarantee you the tachometer doesn't work. And usually, when you go to troubleshoot the problem, you want to progressively, you know, work through it, thinking about, okay, let's do the simple things first and then move on to, you know, forking out some money to fix the problem. These are a couple of the culprits I'm holding right here. Now, you could have, there's, you could have a problem with the wiring going from the engine pickup up to the amplifier, which I'm holding here. You could have a problem with the amplifier itself. You could have a problem with the instrument itself, or you could have a problem with the wiring going from the amplifier to the instrument. But from my experience, most of the time, it's this electronic amplifier that's the problem. And I want to show you up close a little bit uh, better what this looks like. The amplifier is located right down inside here, and you have a plug receptacle that this screws onto. So to remove the amplifier, you have to unscrew it counterclockwise and pull it off. And you can see the contact pins here. I have had problems where the female receptacles have spread due to vibration. And if you can get a little pick tool in there and squeeze those contacts back together so that you get a tight fit when you screw this amplifier back down, that's something you want to check. Definitely on these diesels due to the high vibration rate. Uh, now we're going to talk a little bit more about another real common problem with these. Before you run out and buy a new TAC amp, though, I recommend there's a couple of things you should check related to this pickup wire. Uh, this wire, you know, is, is connected to a bracket right down by the counterbalance in the engine. This one it comes up and plugs up underneath where the TAC amp is, is mounted. And I've got a, I pulled a really good example off a greasy, dirty 300D engine. And I want to show you what you should be looking for in this next scene. With the tachometer pickup wire, there's three areas you want to pay particular attention to. First is this plug-in, which goes in underneath the receptacle for the amplifier. There are three contact points. You want to make sure those are tight and that they're not corroded. The other thing you want to do is look very closely all the way down the wire to make sure there is no Breaks in the wire, this wire will get real stiff, and particularly right in this area here, you want to inspect that area. If you see any area where the wire is cracked or appears to be broken, then you're going to have to replace this. And then finally, this is a good one here, because I, I see this uh, not that often, but you get excessive, excessive amounts of grease buildup right around here where the pickup head is. And you can see how much, how much junk I've got on there. And sometimes getting in here and cleaning, cleaning this, because this is what pick, picks up the, the, the signal right here. You clean this area all up, and sometimes you'll find that your tachometer is working again. If, if you have a problem with these, we do carry new pickup wires on our website, and they're not that expensive. You can also do a continuity test, but I found that if, if that's generally not a problem unless you see some damage to the wire itself. So if you do run out and uh, buy a new TAC amp and you're pretty sure your wire's you know, okay, you're going to have to do some additional troubleshooting, which is not uh, covered in this video. But hopefully these uh, few tips will help you get your tachometer working again properly. 